Greetings, Code Traders. It is Tuesday, January 8th, 2019. Back, I'm here to trading, back to trading again. And I am going to be showing the Code 3 for the oil market. I'm currently watching uh, five different markets right now. I'm watching the oil market, CL. I'm watching the E-mini, the ES. Uh, the NASDAQ, the NQ, the Russell 2000, the RTY, and the uh, Mini Dow, the YM, and they all appear to be doing better with the Code 3 than the oil market does. The oil market does uh, well with the Code 2, and you can also use it on the Code 3, of course, but uh, it's just that uh, many times the oil market seems to be a bit choppy, whereas the other ones will be moving uh, pretty good. But I'm going to uh, demonstrate code 3 first on the oil market, and then we will, I'll do it for the rest of the markets, or all other, f all five of them, let's put it that way. You can trade it on virtually anything. Uh, different traders have said palladium, all different kinds of stuff. Works on virtually everything. Actually, it works on everything. Okay, I'm about to get a signal here. Looks like it's going to be a long entry. I'll be right back. I'm going to take an entry. Okay, I've taken a long entry. We actually have two Code 3 long entries back to back. So they both got triggered at the same time. I've got a stop on this down to 4901. And actually, technically, should be able to move that on the most recent Code 3. I'll be right back. Also keep in mind here, we have two back-to-back -back Code 3 long entries. So if this were to be wrong, it, it both Code 3s would have to be wrong. So very strong trade. And also I can adjust the stop here, but it's only by, um, it's only saving 10 ticks. But it's still 10 ticks is 10 ticks, right? So I can actually adjust it, which I will do. So what this is going to be here is you have two Code 3 entries going in the same direction, triggered at the same time. Which stop do you use? You use the most recent one. You always do that, no matter it's whether it's the entry or the stop or whatever. You always give the most recent code the preference at all times. Only until it shows that it's a losing code would you not listen to what it says anymore. Otherwise, you always follow the most recent code. If another one comes along and it says go to different direction, by all means, go in a different direction. Always go by the most recent code. Looking at it through here today, pretty choppy, very, very choppy. But uh, we, om we have two Code 3 long entries right now, and we almost have a third Code 3 long entry here. I think it's about to come. And if it does, it looks like it's going to go and break up this high here and possibly take off on the daily. Might go up and break this other high here and continue to go up. Might get a good move out of it. It's getting a little bit late, though. So if it's going to do it, it's going to do it pretty quick. But uh, we'll see. Uh, did it just break? No, just double topped. I'll come back. Okay, we just got another Code 3 long signal. So that makes three Code 3 long signals in a row right there. And it's hardly even moved at all. So it, uh, the, uh, the rubber band is tightening, so to speak, and it looks like it's getting ready to make a move. Yeah, see? Let's see how much of a move it wants to do here. broke out of its range. Now we'll see how if it wa if it really wants to run. It might really run here. We have see what happened was is uh we had a code 3 long signal didn't really go anywhere. Had another code 3 long signal didn't really go anywhere and then had a third code 3 long signal just just now. And now boom, it's popped. It's gone up. Now, since it's behind there's three code 3 long signals behind it there's a good chance it's going to run here. 
So we'll see. I'll be right back. Anyway, we'll see. But you're about to see the uh, incredible power of Code 2. I mean, Code 3, <laughs> sorry. Code 2 is, is incredible, too. But uh, the beautiful thing about Code 3 is that you don't have to just use it on oil. You can use it on everything. Whereas the Code 2, you only use it on oil. And uh, you're going to see how well it works with all the other instruments. In fact, it works better with at least some of the instruments than... than um, than oil. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people on the YM and in my own testing that one was the best. I've gotten a lot of good feedback with the ES, the E-mini. A lot of people still like that one a lot. And uh, But you know uh, actually I I'm looking at all of them at the same time. Each one of them having its own monitor. So I can see it very clearly all pulled up with let's say the 10 minute chart which is what I have them all pulled up right now. And guess what? They're all moving together. They're all moving at the same time, the same direction. Yeah. So, you know, anyway. The Code 3 is working uh, incredibly well on them, and I will demonstrate uh, one instrument at a time. Right now I'm just coming out doing oil, just to show how, how well the Code 3 works on oil. And then we'll go from there and do and do uh, all the, the rest of the instruments. But the one thing that you'll see about the Code 3, if there's one thing that's really good about it, is that how you don't, we don't really see losing much, much trades at all. And there are a few things that I'm going to add to the rules about the Code 3. For instance, uh, I'm going to be speaking a foreign language to a lot of you, especially if you only bought the Code 3 and you don't know the other codes. Uh, but there's other techniques that you can use, like the halfback technique. Uh, it works particularly well with oil. Um, and uh, possibly a few other things that we could, I could come up with that you could use to your advantage uh, with the Code 3. Just think about this, all of this chop in here. And I was able to get in and then follow the codes, and all the codes gave long signals one by one that all the code threes and then I simply just held it because it was giving long entry and then boom look at it pops that's the power of using the codes and I knew it was going to go up be long before it ever went up now it the code may have given a short entry and guess what it would have went down but that's the beauty of the code especially the code three it's going to give you the right direction you can use uh, different techniques on it like the halfback technique works very well, especially with oil. Don't know about the other instruments. I would have to look at them, but uh, from what I see, preliminarily speaking, I'm not so sure that they work so good. That technique would work so good in the other instruments. I have to really study it to know for sure. Uh, but they just seem to... Well, let me just save it for actually when I really study it, because they might work on them. You know, that's one thing that I could do is do the charting for the code 3 and the code 2, even the code 1, uh, break the code 1 every day and then put that as a part of the charting. Because uh, that'll give you a nice couple good solid trades to hit a uh, big amount of contracts with once you've broken the code 1. And the code 2 is very good to track so that you know where the code 2 is going to be. And actually, you could use a code 3 entry on a code 2 trade once you know what the code 2 is. So if you're tracking the code 2, you know what the code 2 is, and you just use a code 3 entry on the code 2. And actually, you don't have to stop there. Once, you, once, once it goes on, you can just keep using the code 3 the rest of the time on oil until the day that basically ends. So let's just say till well, to the cutoff point where I said in the videos. And you could use it till that point. And it works very well. So that would be good. That would be a good strategy to use, to, to know what the code 2 is. And the only way to do that is to track it, like in the charting. And then to use a code 3 entry on that, um, yeah, code 3 entry on that code 2 trade. That worked very well for oil. Now, for the other instruments, you don't need to do that. You could just simply use the code 3. 
and it works very very well on them as well okay still just working with uh, we have three code three signals in place all of them are long signals so we're just waiting here for something to happen basically but uh, daily looks good daily we've broken out we're in a new territory now it has absolutely has the possibility of making a nice move up here we could easily do it especially considering uh, two things number one how choppy it, it was and didn't go anywhere and number two that we got all the code three entries back to back now if you just like mem remember the code two if the code two was giving back to back entries going in a certain direction what would it usually always do it would usually always go in that direction in a big way this is the same thing if you get back to back code three entries going in the same direction what's it usually going to do go in that direction in a big way it's the same exact thing as the code two just in a different way so this thing should pop it should move up quite a bit I've got an automatic counter tick exit on it um, we'll see how much it wants to move over the next hour and uh, I might go for more if it gets to 100 ticks pretty quickly I might go for 150 maybe even 200 I'll come back so again let's look at the daily when you see you've got code 3 entries say go long and you see the daily has broken out we're, we're going long we're at the very top of the daily the daily bar for today and it's we're at the top of a green bar and it's broken out the previous bar and you've got three code three entries going along or even just one code three entry to go long this is the time for you to say okay the math is in my favor here if it doesn't go anywhere it comes right back to my entry or whatever and you don't make any money on it you know oh, so be it that's definitely going to happen but this is one of those times here where the math is in your favor that you can hit a big trade so you, this is not the sort of time for you to say uh oh should, should I just get out right here I got 40 ticks whatever should I just get out here and take the money and run no that's not the time for that it's the time to go for it time to go for a trade you may not get it but if you don't go for them you'll never get them and you really need to get them if you want your account to grow you need to really grow you need to get them so this needs to be a hundred tick trade right here or more 200 ticks see how it's just chopped up went a little higher then went you know in the range but still green bar and then went higher and then went higher again now it's went higher again already has there been a big bar like this except for at the bottom no has there even been a big bar like this one going down no or this one going down no or this one going down no or this one no guess what it's time for a big bar if it doesn't happen today it might happen tomorrow if it doesn't happen tomorrow it'll happen the next day but I can guarantee you one thing it's gonna happen and when it does you don't want to miss them this is one of those times the math is in our favor we don't want to miss it so go for it at the same time follow the code three there's no reason for you not to follow it but you're just if the code three keeps giving you long entries what do you do jump out no you'll hold it try to hit a nice trade we can hit an easy hundred ticks here decent chance for 150 ticks you know marginally good chance for 100 or 200 ticks let's say maybe currently right now we're sitting at about maybe 10% mm, chance of 200 ticks right now but that would go up considerably if it went up to a 100 tick exit relatively quickly like with within an hour within half an hour let's say or 45 minutes or even an hour it would be good have a late run or it might not go anywhere 
might just come back down again. See how they keep coming back down? Come back down, come back down. It might do the same thing. It might just come back down. But I can guarantee you one of these times it's going to make a move and you don't want to miss it. So the only way not to miss it is to go for them. And guess what? When that big move happens, all you got to do is play the code three on the next one. And another big move will happen. And then you just score two huge trades in two days. Now your count's sitting way up high. Now you have no fear. Now you just use the code three and make money. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, I've gotten a code three short signal. So I have reversed the position and I am now short. I'll be right back. Okay, it's starting to make a move down here. But you look at it on a daily and I don't know how far down it's going to go here. You can see the other ones, they just sort of went down a little bit and it ended still green. If, there's a, if this one's going to end still green, similar to the other ones, it doesn't. it's not really going to go down very much. The only way it would go down very much is if it turned red and actually started coming down here. Plus, we're running out of time. Uh, already 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time, which is like 1 o'clock. New York time so it's already pretty late in the day here and so it just looks like it's going to be a choppy little day not really a whole lot you can do with these kind of days but if it makes a nice move down it comes down here and breaks the bottom down here well I'll, I'll certainly uh, stay in it and look for a nice reversal here for it to go red but it's pretty late in the day for that to happen. But I could s it could very well happen. So if it starts coming down here pretty good over the next 30 minutes, breaks this low, we'll see what see what it wants to do. Otherwise, I'm just going to get out somewhere and uh, call it a choppy day. I'll come back. I got a code three long signal, so I've reversed and I'm long now obviously it's a very very choppy day today not really worth trading at all but uh, if it makes a nice 20 tick pop move up or something I'll, I'll uh, jump out and just call it a day just looking at all the charts today Russell 2000 looks like it's moving really good I doubt that it's going to go up and break this high up here and we're late in the day here it's 11 a.m. now Pacific Standard Time so time to just jump out so that's what I'm looking to do looking to jump out here very choppy day today okay we're out right there but it's just a choppy day today and uh, it's not likely to do a whole lot it hasn't done a whole lot the whole day and the later and later it goes the less and less likely it gets that it's going to do something it could have made a late move but it doesn't appear to want to do that so it's just a really, really tight day. And to go take a look at it on the daily, very tight days. But uh, just let all of you oil traders know, I did, of course, break the code on the oil market and, the, and all the other markets. And I've been trading oil since uh, 2009. So what, 10 years now. And I'm just telling you that there is a very, very high likelihood that sometime very soon, any day now, it's going to make a big move up. I mean like a big move, like a 300, 400 tick move up. And it's going to happen any day. You'll be able to use the code three on that day and make a lot of money, a lot of ticks. And the beautiful thing is all you got to do is just follow the code three. Because as it goes up, you'll just keep getting code three long entries over and over and over again. So it'll make it really, 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 really easy. And um, yeah, this thing's so choppy. It's so very, very choppy out there. But even in a choppy market, I was able to make something with the code three. But uh, yeah, it's really, really choppy. But don't worry, it'll open up. And when it does, it's going to get fun. I can't wait for it to, to, to really 
move higher here and then it'll follow with some more big moves possibly come down after that or just keep on going it may keep on going for a bit it may come all the way back up to here at least up to 60 let's say and zoom out on the daily a little bit more yeah what's that I'd say it would come all the way back up here to about 63 or so uh, at least and then possibly come back down or keep on going it wouldn't surprise me at all if it just kept on going and uh, broke the high up here sometime you know maybe uh, I don't know this coming summer and broke the high up here so my point is is Watch out for it to get really, really bullish and start to make some big moves up. You don't want to miss these moves back up again because they're going to be big just like the moves down. Code 3 will be all over it. So, make it very easy. Okay, it is really late to me. It's 2 a.m. here. 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, already Wednesday, January 9th and uh out here in thailand so it's late for me i'm gonna get going and uh i'll be back tomorrow for some more trading and we'll see how the code three handles the news tomorrow and i'll take it and probably next week i'm going to switch contracts i mean i'm sorry switch uh instruments and uh, i'm not sure what i'll do maybe the uh, ym the ym the e-mini uh the dow jones industrial average followed probably by uh, the ES, or the E-mini, S&P. And then we'll go on to uh, perhaps the Russell 2000 and then the uh, NASDAQ. But they're all pretty much the same. The only difference I see so far is that uh, the Code 3 works better on the other instruments than it does on oil. Code 2 actually works better for oil, except for if oil has a really big day, then the code 3 can be very beneficial because it can actually help to make you more ticks than the code 2 can. Okay, I'm going to get going. Hope all of you are doing well and uh, learning and uh, just realize that we're in a very, very tight market. It will open up. Just give it. It might s stay tight the rest of the week. Probably not, though. It's going to open up any day. And then when it does, it, it'll start to get a lot of fun. Okay, I'll see all of you for tomorrow's trading. Happy trading out there, everybody.